All right, we are back on Hero Coliseum. We're just going to do a couple of quick online matches. We're going to fight whoever the hell shows up, whether they're level 1 or level 239. It doesn't matter. We're going to fight whoever. Two quick battles. That's because it's late, I'm tired, and I just want to... I, I honestly, I just want to use the second turn ult deck online again. That's actually a really fun deck. It's not a very good deck, but it's really fun. And that's all that really... Hey, how you doing? What's up? What's up? How you doing? Level 22. If you want to. Hey, he wants to? Let's do it. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I'm not even worried about it. I mean, this is going to be probably a one-shot, but still. My boy, my boy. Here we go. Here we go. Your name looks familiar. Have I, have I battled you before? His name looks familiar. It looks familiar. I remember fighting a low level before. I wonder if that was him again. That would suck. <laughs> if he ends up being the same... All right, all right. I see you. I see you. You got, uh, you got, you got, uh, you know, Goku Blue, Vegeta Blue, Golden McFreeza, the Golden McFreeza. I wonder if that's his zero one figure. So if I go for the old, that's how I'm doing it right off the bat. Usually I do the Piccolo thing because that's my favorite thing to do in the very beginning. But I'm just gonna go straight for the old this time. But if I put my homie in the old spot in the next turn, and his Frieza is a zero one Frieza, he ain't gonna take no damage. Granted. He's gonna get one shot at anyways, but <laughs> but let's say he doesn't get one shot, and then he takes my zero one figure down. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I can just pop these guys out again, do another ult. Unless he takes this Gohan out real quick. Oh yeah, that that Gohan's done. That Gohan, he's done data. It's over. He's gone. You ain't coming back from this Gohan. You ain't coming back from this. Or will you? Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. Prove me wrong. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Okay, not bad, not bad. I really, I'm not too fond of that Goku. I'm really not. It's he's good because you know he knocks down the damage they do. So you have to go first with him. I mean, you don't have to, but I feel like he should be on a deck that goes first because he knocks down the damage. And then if they survive and they come, to, oh yeah, you're hella done. I don't even know why I was. I don't even know why I was questioning that. I didn't even think about the fact that Vegeta was about to go with <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> oh dang, I just realized that the TV is uh, on. And I was watching Maximilian Dude over here because he was watching that Mortal Kombat uh, combat cast thingy. Yeah, it was on. <laughs> I'm just now realizing it was on. I just muted that. Hopefully you can't hear none of that. It's it kind of loud too. Kind of. Usually I have like the volume turned down when I'm watching stuff. I don't like a whole lot of noise, but yeah. Anyways, anyways. So don't you dare leave. You you accepted this match, and now you're gonna. Okay, thank you. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you're gonna take this hit, boy. You gonna take all of this? Do we want Piccolo or do we want Le Trunks? Actually, first of all. What you don't you don't have anything on your wait what? Oh no. Okay, I guess it, it doesn't matter what I do then. I mean, I mean it didn't matter anyways. But still, he should at least put the zero one unless you don't have him yet. I mean you are at a low level. You probably haven't even beat Vados yet, huh? That's cool though. That's cool. At least you're you're online. You're filling out your opponents. You're trying to see what everybody's doing right now. Clearly, clearly you're not. You know, I don't think you're actually doing this seriously yet. You don't even have anything equipped yet. It's all good though. This will be a nice learning experience for both of us. Because I haven't been online in a long time. Obviously you haven't been online for a long time. So this is a great experience for both of us. This, this is We're helping each other out here. That's, that's how I feel right now. We're helping each other out. So go ahead Trunks. Do what you do best. Freaking Vegito with the minus 10% on the damage dealt. You son of a gun. It's all good. It's all gravy. It's all gravy. Look at that. You look like a little Revan anyway. Look at your dude. He looks like a little mini version of my dude. Look at that. Bam! So, you, you may now call me... Sensei. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Next battle! Mario! Stay off drugs, baby. You, <laughs> you guys ever seen that uh, Broly play Super Mario Kart? By uh, SSJ9K. <laughs> that video is freaking hilarious to me. I freaking love that video. Alright, so, 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 what you got? What do you got? Come on. We send bottles and Jiren. I still don't have my Jiren to plus 10. Let's do, let's do the whole Piccolo thing this time. I still don't have my Jiren to plus 10. I'm so upset about that. He's like plus 6 or something. I might just say screw it 
and go ahead and just get him to his UR because I really want to make a video on him. He's been out for like three years now and I haven't made a video on him just because I haven't gotten him to plus 10. It's really upsetting. It's very upsetting. I'm kind of upset. So this dude is... Oh! This is interesting. This is very interesting. Piccolo versus Jiren. What? The only problem is that I'm at a way higher level. So I have way more defense. So this is going to hurt him a lot more than it's going to hurt me. Because not only do I have more defense, I have way more HP as well. This is going to... This is going to be quite a one-sided match. Kind of sucks. If he was level 99, this would have been so much more interesting. This would have been great. Look at all that speed. Yeah, look at my speed. Plus 300%, son. What you know about that? What you know about that, son? <laughs> so let's see how much you're going to do. It's not going to be that much. Or will it? Watch him surprise me and do like half my life. That's not bad, actually. So so look at that. One hit, and I'm st I still have more HP than him. It's because I'm level 9. Do not let these battles fool you. Definitely do not let these battles fool you. The only reason why I'm doing good with this deck is just because everybody I've been fighting so far is low level. Eventually, we're going to come across somebody. I'm not going to use this deck in the next video. I got another deck I want to use. So, but we will revisit this deck because I it's fun. Doing this second turn ult is so freaking fun. But there's so many things that can counter it. There's so... It, honestly, you don't even need to counter. You just need... This is interesting. I would see I personally wouldn't use Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta this way me personally I wouldn't use him this way I would actually I would for sure double him up with somebody for sure because whoever he attacks they take 15% more damage so then whoever attacks behind Gogeta is gonna do even more damage I would also put him me personally I would put him in a second deck you know a deck that's you know made to go second because when he gets hit he does 15% more damage that's really how he works, right? Crap, it's been a long time. So when Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta gets hit, he does 15% 15 more damage. <laughs> I need to learn how to talk. And then whoever he attacks takes 15% more damage. Is that what he does? Crap, all of a sudden, I just suddenly just forgot what he does. What the hell just happened? But anyways, yeah. So I would put him in the second deck. That way he gets hit, he does more damage. And then after he hits them, whoever's behind them can do more damage. And then whoever's in front of them, they're just screwed. They're just screwed. I don't care who it is, they're screwed. Unless it's somebody, you know, like, you know, somebody. Vados. <laughs> I can't think of anybody. Whis and Vados, they're right in front of my face. I don't know why I couldn't think of that just now. But yep, yep, yep. Alright, so what do you got? What do you got? So after this turn, you're basically pretty much done Dada. It's, it's, it's over. It's over. And that's going to be the end of this video, because I'm... I'm just gonna do a quick two battles. I already told you in the beginning. <laughs> I'm just doing two quick battles and then we're gonna. Damn! Lighten up, Gogeta! Lighten up! I love you, man, but lighten up. God damn. He ain't lighten up at all. Uh... <laughs> That's another person. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta? I need to start using him. I, I really like him. He's freaking amazing. He's amazing. I freaking love that man. I like Bottles too. Bottles is gonna be in the next video. It's gonna be a Whis and Bottles deck. It's actually gonna be a Whis, Bottles, and Super Saiyan 4 Goku deck. So, some people frown upon that. A lot of people frown upon the uh, the second turn decks. I don't understand why. I heard a few times that that's just. I I think I made this. I I, I was talking about this in the last video about how the old decks don't work anymore. Is what I've been hearing and. I don't honestly Whis and Vados is such an amazing combo I can't picture any of the new meta really being that far above them I really can't but yet I keep hearing that the old decks just don't work anymore but Whis and Vados really you're telling me that the new meta is kicking their asses are you serious Whis and Vados are we serious about this right now we're gonna do Piccolo we're gonna do Piccolo we did Trunks last time we're gonna do Piccolo this time Oh yeah, it's over. It's hella over because Whis and Vados ain't gonna do no damage to me at all. And then Piccolo's Piccolo, so I don't care who you put in front of him. He's gonna survive because he's Piccolo. He's the motherfucking. He's like the Batman. <laughs> he's the Batman of Dragon Ball. He doesn't have. He has power, but compared to everybody else, he ain't got nothing. So <laughs> just like Batman has no power, Piccolo ain't got no power. But Piccolo is hella smart, hella strategic. That's why he does so well in his battles, even though he ain't got that much power. 
the Batman. He's the mother freaking Batman. And what do we all know about Batman? Batman never loses. He kicks Superman's ass how many times? Jesus Christ. Because he's the Batman. What? <laughs> it's super late. I'm super tired. Jesus Christ. Oh my goodness. Oh. Watch. Watch this. He's only going to do like 200 damage. 200. 200. Or 1,000. That's cool too. <laughs> and then he does the additional. That's cool. So yeah, you might as well do it. Yeah. Usually, if I don't do that much damage, I won't go for the additional if they don't have their ult. Because I ain't trying to build your ult even more for just an extra 150. Like, if I do 300 damage, I'm not doing the additional. I'm not going to do an extra 150 to you and help you build your ult even more. You know what I mean? It's For me, it's pointless. Some people believe that every little bit of damage helps and that can be true i have seen instances where you'll like you'll attack a figure and they'll survive with 20 hp so imagine if in the first turn you attack somebody you do like 300 and then you don't do the additional so you don't do that extra 150 then the second turn you attack them and they survive with 50 hp <laughs> you're gonna be so mad at yourself <laughs> for letting them survive with that freaking 50 hp Alright, so let's go ahead and leave this room before somebody else enters. That was actually kind of quick. Those two matches actually popped up pretty quick. It's usually whenever I do this, it takes forever to get a match. It takes forever. <laughs> so, that's the end of this video. Please like it if you like it. You should subscribe if you want more. And join me in the next one. Alright, y'all. I'm out.